Originally, I said I wanted Stan Winston because it involved a lot of special effects. So I said it has to be the best in Hollywood. So I called up Michael. I said, if we can't do something that nobody's ever seen before, don't want to do it. If we can do something special, I do. There's this one effect where I kind of bash my head, and when I pick my head up, it starts to fall away. There's a top layer here of Michael laying down, and then there's a uh, middle element of some really cool looking ash in the shape of Michael. Again, we're actually animating movement. We have the dancers going up the pillars. We have them up on the walls of the house. We have them on the ceiling of the house. You see them actually walking down, walking on the ground, and then up this pillar. You know, it's the impossible shot. When you're climbing up, you have to lean back. And action. the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But it was cool, I'm glad I did it. Shooting green screen is sort of like the weatherman will be in front of a green screen and then a map will be placed behind him. This was shot on the green screen, upside down, with everyone dancing. Just terrific work. A piece of magic. Michael plays the skeleton because we have the ability to performance capture an artist and take that performance of that artist and give that to a digital character. By putting the markers on his body and putting him in his performance area, we can capture the essence of that character by having him dance, move, emote, gesture. So he's, he gets to author the performance, not unlike an actor would. This skull was created from a life cast of Michael, carved down to the, the skull that was hit, the shape of his head. So this literally, for all intents and purposes, is the skull of Michael Jackson. <laughs> At one point in this dance, all these wonderful ghosts come out of the walls and the floors in this new ectoplasmic form. This ectoplasm is like translucent quality, almost that of a jellyfish. And this particular shot was like our, our maiden voyage into the world of ecto, which yes, took us uh, months to come up with the final concept. We're not just seeing another transparent image of a ghost. I wanted the ghosts, when they form, to be solid, to be able to shoot them as dancers, as actors, have them walk on the walls and not be aware of any effects. The art of dance is mainly interpreting the bodily movement, the sounds in the accompaniment of a composition. One moves according to the sound. Take a song like Billie Jean, the bass goes do 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 do. So the body moves according to the sound and character of the instrument. Kind of do 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 it's always truly a collaboration. We sometimes communicate through videotape. He'll just put ideas down for us, we do the same for him, and, and it works out good that way. As we go through many, many, many levels of choreography and many looks and many types of approaches, but until it's the right thing, he doesn't stop and we don't stop either. Yeah. We had 12 hour days, you know, 12 hour days, five days a week, um, sometimes six days a week. 
and sometimes seven days a week, I think, too. But um, it all paid off. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. It's a tapestry. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Get here. Michael wanted me there to take notes and to to get his ideas as they came. Bring the horns on top. Yeah. 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 All out of rhythm. Yeah. I mean, just, it's chaotic. Yeah. 20 people here. No music here. Bum, 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 bum. Michael oversees everything, everything we do. It's pretty much just knowing what you want to do and having a will of iron. There's a tremendous amount of pressure, I'm not going to lie. And you think that it's really, really easy, because it's not. He's not easily satisfied. He's very demanding in that he doesn't allow us to settle. Michael, is it this or this? Make it clean, though. What we gotta do is all those. If we choreograph something and we think it's really strong, we think it's really cool, we'll question it. He'll say, is this absolutely the best you think it can be? Yeah! You gotta cue them. So we, once you cue them, it's like no end. You know, it's beyond anyone I've ever worked with. It's just striving for the unexpected and to do something that no one else has done before and does not know what the word no means. Right now, there's no way of cutting all the stuff we have. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Don't say it. Feeling Mark II? I'm sure I'm going to see things I said. I should have done that shot. I knew I was right. I shouldn't have let them go. I let it go, and I shouldn't have. Okay. Yeah. It, sh it shouldn't be cool. It shouldn't be cool. Michael oversees everything, everything we do. He has added things, this webbing that covers the ghouls so they look even older and decayed. These look good, the straights. They just need to be dirtier and more textured. Michael's very specific about what he wants. We try to come up with monsters who are not just monsters, but have a lot of personality and have their own individual characteristics or looks. We decided that all the different ghouls have all died at different times. We have everything from the very snooty, upper crust, uh, stiff upper lip British guy with, uh, you know, with his monocle and uh, several looks, uh, with wild hairdos, you know, all kinds of outrageous period styles that have been exaggerated. We are covering this ballroom with these phenomenal ghosts who are dancing a dance we have never seen. You know, today's cutting edge is tomorrow's classic. It's pretty much just knowing what you want to do and having a will of iron. If the whole world says no, you say yes. You ain't done enough for me. You ain't done enough for me. You are disgusting me. Yeah, yeah. You I hope you enjoy it. Um, you and I hope it's inspiring to a lot of people. And I hope it scares you. I hope it makes you laugh and I hope it makes you cry. That's all I wanted to achieve. Just some real fun entertainment.